Don't do anything you're about to see at home. Train professionals, real professional wrestling training. This next move is called the Koji Clutch. Now the, the perfect setup for this move is a reverse STO. Because in the reverse STO, you land in the perfect position to get into the Koji Clutch. Versus arm and neck under your forearm. And then you want to come around and put your left leg just under their throat, right behind your knee. And then hook your hands, kind of like a headlock. So your, the back of your leg is putting pressure on their neck, and your shoulder and your hands are putting pressure on the other side of their neck and their, their shoulder. So however you end up in this position, as I said, probably the easiest way is to reverse STO. <clears throat> You want to, the person giving the submission is going to want to immediately roll their body towards your head. And as they do that, just hook their leg around the opponent's neck and then come around with their left hand and hook the hand. And then from there, it's just all about the cell and uh, all about making sure you protect each other. Uh, obviously the person giving the submission move, not wrenching too hard on the person's neck, not accidentally kicking them in the head or the face as you, as you hook your leg around. Um, <coughs> Sometimes when taking a reverse STO, you may land with your arm still over your opponent's chest. This person is going to go in to the Koji Clutch from here. What they want to do is clear your arm first. So your arm is on the right side of their head, and you can hook the leg around their neck and then hook their arm at the same time. Ah. Oh. 